Hello, I'm May Musk and I'm excited to share my beauty secrets. So to start off with, I'm going to do skincare, then makeup, then hair care, and then hand care. Here we have cleanser. I just need a couple of drops. The skin is the largest organ in the body and I am a dietitian with two Master of Science degrees. So I really have specialized in eating well, lots of fruits and vegetables and whole grains. So I'm going to use the 111 skin mask. It's very relaxing and uh, this often happens on set too, which I think is great. I leave it on for 20 minutes. I've always had to look after my skin because, first of all, I was modeling since I was 15 and I'm now 73 and you really can't last that long as a model unless you look after your skin. So, unfortunately, when I was a teenager in South Africa, I'm from Canada, but I grew up in South Africa, and um, we ran out in the sun all the time. There was no sunblock. There were, we didn't wear uh, hats and we certainly didn't have sunscreen. So you'll see that I do have some sunspots on my face and that's skin damage from the sun. So to keep my eyes moisturized, it, you need a special cream for that. I use this Dior Eye Serum and what I love is the applicator. Look at it. I know people worry about wrinkles and getting older. Well, obviously I don't. <laughs> I'm not old enough yet and, and Vogue will bring me back in my 80s and 90s as well. So I need to keep the skin going. Uh, yes, you have to look after your skin because otherwise um, you start um, looking in the mirror and not liking yourself. We can't have that. Some uh, um, lip balm. Put it on my lips and you know I have to take it with me everywhere. If I'm not wearing lipstick, then I definitely need lip balm. The great thing about the menopause is that you don't have breakouts anymore. <laughs> you know, besides not having your periods, which is wonderful. Most of my modeling life, I always, before a beauty campaign, I always had a big pimple. <laughs> there are treatments for it nowadays. There wasn't in the past, so the makeup artist had to really work with me. And even if I don't wear makeup, I just have my skincare routine and I'm walking my dog, I will then spray this Perlosophy sunscreen on my face. Clair de Peau, foundation I'm going to use today, and a Laura Mercier sponge because, you know, you use whatever works for you. You know, in the beginning, of course, I had to do my own hair and makeup for jobs, but now I have experts do it. And I don't know if I've noticed any change other than products are better and I've learned to do it better. If I find later in the evening that there's a few wrinkles coming somewhere that it sinks into my wrinkles, then I just dab it a bit. But uh, usually I don't have my glasses on so I don't see any wrinkles. <laughs> So here I have the Dior Concealer. So I have three wonderful children and 12 grandchildren and uh, they just love it that I, I look uh, well and I'm healthy and with my children I always want them to eat well which is important and then also to protect themselves from the sun. So I know how much they're listening to me, but their skin, all, all three of them have really nice skin. So the first time and the only time I've been to the Met Gala, I was uh, with Elon and of course we didn't know quite what to do, what we meant to do. He didn't, he would refuse to walk the red carpet, but I walked the red carpet. Lady Gaga was in front of me and Kate Hudson was in front of me and, and Bella Hadid and The Weeknd was behind me. And I couldn't get a camera to look my way, but I had to have a photo taken because I was wearing a designer's outfit. Yuna Yang's, she made a special outfit for me. So I just stood there smiling and you know, there are some photos of me. <laughs> my next step is powder, Dior powder. And here is the MAC brush to put it on. 
powder has improved a lot over the years because in the past when you would put powder on it would cake all over your face and now it just blends beautifully and I think the brushes are so much better too that they help you blend, blend the uh, powder in. My next step is a blusher. So where I put it is right by just below my cheekbones. I have big cheekbones. Uh, thank you mom and dad. <laughs> Sometimes I'll even put some just on my, in my eyes just especially if I'm just doing it myself, just to add a little color there before I work on my eye makeup. I need to highlight the cheekbones by Dio, and you put it here. So you see, it catches the camera well too, especially in red carpets or in photo shoots. When I was a teenager, of course, I did the Twiggy makeup, which is the big eyelashes on top and then the individual eyelashes below, and then the black line across there over here. And it took me about an hour to get ready because I couldn't go out without it. <laughs> And then it suddenly went to a natural look. And that's what happens as you get older, you have to change with the fashion. The 80s was really that big hair. Uh, and I colored my hair blonde, but because I couldn't afford to go to a hair salon, I would color it myself. So I was various stages of blorange, which is uh, blonde and orange. But nowadays with the editorials, I do some crazy makeup. And uh, I love it. I love experimenting with makeup and I let any, any makeup artist just use their creative abilities to, to make me look fabulous or weird. I ha hardly have any brows, so I really need to do something about it and draw them in. I have here a YSL brow pencil. So now you can see about finishing off the brows, how much it gives me a better shape. So now for my eye color, start with just the eyelid, more the pinky look. With some makeup, the eyes really pop and people say, wow, your eyes are so blue. So now I'm just going to do it here. You just keep on blending it very nicely, a little bit on the sides as well. Already, it's looking better. As you noticed in the beginning, I have really small eyes. So then to open it up a bit, I take this color. So now I have small eyelashes too. So I definitely need mascara. And now we're going to use the Lash Lash eyelashes. You can see how they are individuals. It makes it look quite natural. And then I dip it into the glue and then I put it on my eye. So now I've done this eye. Now I have to do the other one. But can you see the difference? How it opens up my eyes. You can put many more lashes on, maybe for a more glamorous evening. Sometimes you can use a strip but um, it depends on the event and who's photographing you because sometimes a strip is pretty obvious when you look down. So I like the individuals. So now I'm going to do the lipstick and it's just a simple one for the day. When it comes to Instagram, I find that it's the best thing that ever happened to me. And at the time I, I started on Instagram, I thought, well, as a dietitian, I should just put food, the food I eat, and then I would get five likes. So then I thought, well, I'll post some model pictures and then I would get 100 likes. So then I realized, okay, this is actually going to be my model portfolio. People are surprised that I do it myself. I'm really happy to represent women in their 70s because, um, you go through many hard times in your life and I'm hoping when girls realize that you can end the hard times quicker than I did. Because you only make a change if, you, if you're if you in a really bad situation. So I've lived in, in eight cities in three countries. I moved to a small town to, be, uh, uh, to get a Master of Science degree and lived in a one bedroom apartment. My kids in the bedroom and I lived in the living room kitchen so that I could um, learn more about chronic diseases and then I would lecture around the world not only on on disease states or general wellness but I would also lecture on how to be an entrepreneur and so I've given many talks for women 
who are um, you know scared to start over and rightly so they should be scared because it is scary and you haven't got confidence but you need to get out there and and let people know how great you are so now that we've got the whole makeup look let's work on my hair so this is my natural hair color. Thank you, mom and dad. So when I was a model up until my late fifties, I was coloring my hair blonde. And you know, when you color it blonde, you have to do the roots all the time. And then it's various forms of frizz because of course you're damaging the hair. I started uh, letting it uh, grow out. So there was this white halo and then this was all blonde. And then I cut it into a really edgy short Look, I use this for volume. I also use the Paul Mitchell Styling Cream. So that even adds more volume to my hair. Now I can really work with it. And you see, I have a natural flow here. It's called a cow's lick. And many times I want to get rid of it um, because it's, it's kind of cooler without a cow's lick. But I also have a widow's peak, which doesn't show as well because it's white hair. But when my hair was brown or blonde, I would sometimes get booked for a job just because they loved my, my widow's peak here. Texture spray. When I spray it on my hair, When you put texture in it, you can do some crazy stuff and fun stuff with your hair there. Let's put it to the side even, even down here. And you can even do something like that. Uh, I think it looks cool. Extra body hairspray. So many people are, 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 are scared of going gray. Many women, men seem to not mind, but women are scared of going gray. And you know, I wasn't scared of going gray. I was just concerned that I'd never model again when I had gray hair. But as you see, it opened up the whole field of modeling because now everyone is not, a, not scared of going gray. Now my next project is hands. I used to be a hand model. So first of all, to have good hands, you need to moisturize it. And I love this Chanel hand cream. It's in my bag all the time. And it, it's really a cool looking one. I really use two or three times a day. It's called So. And what it is, it's an oil. So here you pull this off, you twist that, and then you put it on your cuticles, and then you rub it in. When I go out and I'm working, walking my dog, and I have long sleeves, I will put um, sun protection on my hands because you need to keep the hands um, healthy. So the last thing, Gris Dior, I wear fragrance every day. And you know why? It just makes me feel good. And I'm so happy they've invited me to be part of the Vogue Beauty Secrets. I hope you learned something and enjoy your life. Bye-bye.